Hi guys, this is your English language teacher and IELTS trainer Maha and welcome to my English Hope Canada Facebook page and English Hope Canada YouTube channel and of course to my personal profile as well. I hope you guys are doing well and um, enjoying this um, lockdown and also enjoying Ramadan and um, keeping your fasts and you know worshipping and everything else that comes with it. So. I'm here because I need to speak to you guys, have a quick conversation and um, see who's interested in coming online over here. So guys, do share this video with your family, with your friends, on your social media profiles, on your Facebook pages, on your Facebook groups and everywhere else as well. It will be good to see more people coming on here. So if you have shared it, I would get a message and um, I haven't received any messages of anyone um, sharing here right now, but I would really appreciate if you could share this video um, again on your Facebook pages, WhatsApp groups, whatever um, you have people who would be um, interested in learning language and coming on here for a live conversation. The more people, the better always it is. So the more the merrier. Um, Aga Yasser Hasan says, hi ma'am, hello. Devan uh, Kailash Kumar says, uh, I want to learn too. That's great. Asher Hasan DOP says, hi, hello. And um, yeah, so again, um, obviously if you are interested in joining this live session, I would really appreciate if you could share this video and I've got my phone in my hand and I would know that you've shared the video and I'll share the link with you so you can come on this live stream and have a quick conversation with me so waiting for people to uh, to share this live stream waiting for people to uh, to join um Muniba Sheikh says hello ma'am um hello little girl how are you would you like to come and speak with me you can if you want to that would be nice so let me know if Muniba, you are interested in coming on live here with me um, to have a quick conversation. Maybe we'll talk about you know how the days are going, what we're doing, uh, what you're doing um, in this lockdown, and um, and everything else that comes with COVID nineteen. I've also heard and seen people say COVID twenty, and I'm just thinking, what are you guys talking about? So it is still COVID nineteen. It's not going to change just because it's twenty twenty. Um, COVID-19 is not going to turn into a COVID-20. So please make sure that you're using the right words to refer to COVID-19 because if you're not, then that's going to be scaring a lot of people. So if you're interested in coming on live here with me to have uh, a quick conversation, then please um, let me know. Asif, good to see you here. Hi, how are you? What's the topic for the day? There's no topic as such. We're just going to have a conversation. Haven't decided on the topic yet only because it all depends on the people who join and um, how the conversation goes so no preset topics as such that's the way I would like um, that's the way I like it that's the way I like to uh, take things you know it's like an open book no clue what you're gonna read okay um, share Hassan um, Okay, I'm not really sure what Chair Hasan wants, but he's going to be blocked um, because there is zero tolerance for um, stuff like that. Shoei Bhatt says, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. Thank you very much, um, Shoei Jat for asking. Pretty good. Adil Raza says, how are you, Mahati? I'm pretty good. Thank you very much. So if you want to join this live stream, please let me know. And Mr. Sher Hasan, DOP, has been blocked great you know my favorite hobby is uh blocking people so delete and block so if i see some nonsense going on on my facebook pages um i block them uh, muniba shakes is next session for sure ma'am all right next session for sure fahim of this is how are, how are you i'm pretty good fahim thank you very much please do share this uh video i need to see 50 people over here once i have the 50 people then i can um and i will post the stream yard link for you guys to join here and um yeah otherwise i'm not gonna do it 
Shahida Ali says, how to overcome shyness of speaking English? You just have to practice. Um, the reason why we are not confident um, speakers of the language is because we're too worried about what others will think of us. And we're too worried about, you know, how we look, how we sound, or, um, you know, how our accent is. So you have to stop thinking about others when you're trying to speak a language or when you're trying to learn a language, you have to think about yourself only because it's you who need to practice, not them. So to overcome shyness, um, I would just say that keep keep talking, keep keep learning, keep practicing. Um, read out loud if you have to, and if you want to, record your voice, record your own videos, talk to yourself. Um, that helps you become uh, more confident, and of course, you're not then shy anymore. Oh my God! So. Okay, so if there's anybody who wants to join this uh, live stream, then please let me know. I will be blocking and deleting uh, people. Please make sure that your comments are sensible. Tala Khan says, ma'am, have you made a routine of taking classes which day of the week and when? No, I haven't made a routine yet. That's like the hardest thing for me to do. Um, Shoaib Jat says, have you got any slides? No, I don't have any slides because I don't think you can learn a language by looking at slides. Um, you can learn a language by practicing, by um, reading out loud, by listening, and you know, by writing what you think um, about, about any specific topic. But by looking at slides, you will never be able to learn because if, you're, if you could learn by only looking at the slides, then you wouldn't be sitting here trying to learn English. Right. So looking at books, just reading from the books, um, doing grammar practice is not going to help you 100 percent if you want to become um, confident speakers of the language. So I will share the link. I need to see people sharing it in their um, in their groups. Um, on their Facebook pages as well. And once I have more people joining this, then I can share this link with um, the StreamYard link with whoever wants to join in. Um, Hussain Abidi says, do you have any WhatsApp group for practice? No, I don't. I only use Facebook to practice with anybody who is interested. Um, I don't get onto uh, WhatsApp groups for practice. You can't practice on WhatsApp, that's for sure. Like text messaging and learning a language is not a good idea. It doesn't work like that. So if you are interested in uh, joining this live um, stream with me and uh, um, you know becoming a part of this, let's have a conversation, then please let me know and I will be posting this link. I'm actually just going to be inviting people to Okay, so I'm posting the link over here. You can not copy and paste it, you can't click on it, but what you can do is you can just um, type this up on your uh, in your browsers and um, join this, this group. Hasnain Nasir says, ma'am, please do a separate session on how to communicate with online clients. Yes, I can do that if I have more people on it. That's going to be a paid, um, uh, that's going to be a paid course. So if you're interested in anything like that, then um, you can text me and I'll give you the rates. And if you have more people, then it's going to be better um, for everybody else as well, because it's going to be much cheaper. All right, so. I have one person over here and he has joined us before as well. Hi, Fawad, how are you? Hi, Fawad, how are you? Hello, can you hear me, Fawad? Okay, I can't hear you, Fawad, so maybe you can um, log out and log in. Again, or just rejoin uh, the stream and make sure that you have given access to um, StreamYard 
to use your camera and audio at the same time so that I can hear you once you log on to the StreamYard application and come on live with me. So I've already posted the link and let me just put it on the screen as well. So this is the link for you guys to join this live stream. All right, so I have here somebody called Heather. Hi, Heather, how are you? I'm fine now, what about you? I'm pretty good, thank you very much. Where are you tuning in from, Heather? Uh, actually, I'm uh, trying to know about... Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, how uh, can I improve my uh, like uh, foreign accent and skills? Sorry? Uh, uh, how can I improve my uh, foreign accent and skills? How can you improve your accent? Uh, accent and skills. skills. What skills are you talking about? What kind of skills like, are you talking uh, about? Like English is, uh, uh, Like uh, whenever I get in a topic, uh, whenever uh -huh. I get uh, in a topic, I'm unable to describe a whole scenario of the topic. Why do you feel that you're not able to describe? Uh, like... Uh, I feel scaring to describe the things exactly. Okay, and where are you tuning in from, uh, Heather? Uh, from India. You're from India, okay. Do you have friends around you who speak English? No, it's a uh, totally uh, Hindi speaker. Okay, so you have nobody around you who speaks in English? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's there. Okay. And what part of India are you from? Sorry? What part of India are you from? Eastern part of India. Which city? Oh, Katihar, Bihar. From Katihar. Bihar. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And what language do you speak there? Mostly Hindi. Mostly. Do you speak any other languages? Other languages like Bengali. Okay. You speak Gujarati? No, I don't know Gujarati. You don't know it's... Gujarati. So if you want to learn Gujarati, what are you going to do? I need to know about the basic fundamentals of Gujarati only then I can go ahead. Okay. So yeah. when you were a child, um, you learned to speak Hindi. Is that correct? Right. Did you learn it in school or did you learn it at home? English. No, Hindi. Did Hindi. you learn it in Hindi? Hindi, it's my oh, mother tongue. No? So how did you learn it? Uh, in school. So before you went to school, you were not speaking anything? Uh, I had in uh, my home language, Bengali. Okay, so how did you learn Bengali? Did you learn it in school or at home? At home. Okay, and how did you learn it? Did your parents give you a book to learn? No, uh, just by uh, family members speaks, just by listening. Just by listening. So this is how you learn English also. Yeah. Okay. That's how you learn English also because it's a different language, right? So you right. have to, um, I always tell my students, please do not look at a book and start uh, filling up um, you know, the answers, doing grammar exercises and all that stuff because yes, it might teach you how to read, it might teach you how to write, but it's not gonna give you 100% confidence or it's not gonna give you 100%, um, what do you call it, um, knowledge on how to use English in your daily life, right? Okay. Okay. So you want to improve your um, accent, then what you have to do is you need to find people who will speak English with you. You need to okay. watch um, maybe um, some TV shows where okay. you're focusing on their language and also repeating what they're saying and trying to copy their accent. Yeah. Okay. So that is the problem here. Uh, I'm unable to listen others here in my locality. Mm -hmm. So once i can uh, uh, listen them only then i can uh, learn no? easily like your accent like a u.s accent is very different in comparison to indian accent so okay. our, our accent is like a hindi tongue right? right so 
i am trying to put myself into other action okay so i think the best thing for you to do is watch the news yeah i am watching the news yeah i am watching the news so watch the news and yeah. um write down a couple of sentences that the news anchors are using okay record okay. them and then copy them as much as you can yeah so maybe That's two a seconds for the day how long two sentences a day two sentences a day fine yeah but I'll you have to speak so much that you actually start sounding like them and eventually you know your accent will improve uh, fine thank you you're welcome so how did you come across this page heather i haven't seen you here before uh, yeah uh, actually uh, every day i seen always you come online on facebook so i can see you that uh, you're discussing with some other person also every day i find right so yeah. today i thought to join again good to have you here so i'm going to bring in some people because what we do is we have a conversation and you know we talk about different things and we have some regular students then we have some who just come in um you know first time and then they become regulars as well so i am going to bring in fawad um hi fawad how are you hello i'm fine how are you i'm good i can hear you now heather can you just move your camera a bit towards um the right so i can see your mm -hmm. full face perfect thank you so much yeah. fawad where are you tuning in from I am from uh, Sawabi, Pakistan. And you don't drink uh, coffee, right? Yes. <laughs> you didn't try coffee after that day? No. Okay, we tried to convince you so much by telling you all the good things about coffee, and you still haven't tried it. It's Ramadan. I am taking more water than anything else. Okay. Do you stay up the whole night? Yeah. Yeah, so coffee is going to keep you awake. Yeah, but it does it doesn't attract me. I don't know why. <laughs> That's okay. We I'm just I'm just um bugging you right now. Mm -hmm. All right. So Harsha and Deep Singh is saying does the accent matter if you're fluent in English language and grammatical skills? Harsha and no, the accent doesn't really always matter. But it also depends on what country you're living in. So let's say you're living in the West. Um, so you have to make sure that your accent um, is it's clear. So it's a very neutral accent. You don't have to sound like um, a person from that country. But if you have a very clear accent, then it makes it easier for people that you're communicating with to understand you better and um, you know to have a better and a more confident and a more fluent conversation because if you have a very strong accent then it becomes difficult for people um, to understand you so let's say yeah. people who have an Australian accent um, sometimes you can't understand what they're saying even though um, you know they speak English but their accents are very difficult so once you get used to listening to different accents it's better and I always feel that if you're sitting in a um, um, you know, in, in an environment where there's people of different nationalities and backgrounds, then it's always better to have a very clear um, accent. So, so Rose Rose's uh, uh, link is there. All right, so I've got Asif here as well. Hi, Asif, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much. Yeah, today you are going to talk with my elder son, Ahmad. So, Hi, Ahmed. How are you? Fine. Good. Okay. So what we're going to have is we're going to have a conversation. We have uh, Heather, we have Fawad, and we have Asif sitting here. And uh, let's say that we are going to talk about your topic for today is, I'm going to post it on the video, my favorite course. My favorite course. Okay, so that's your favorite, not that's your favorite topic, that is your topic for today. My favorite sport. So let's say we're going to start with the little ones first. Ahmed, can you tell us about your favorite sport? And when you tell us about your favorite sport, please talk about um, when you play it, how you play it, 
how many members do you need in a team to play that sport? How often do you play it? Like how many times a week? Do you play it indoors or outdoors? Do you play at, at, at school or at home or with your family? friends so all the information that you can give personally about um the sport would be good okay and um, my favorite sports is cricket um i like cricket because it's fun it's everyone can play there's no need for like no one is going to be outside everyone can play it um, uh, I usually play it um, outside in the streets because it's not played in my school. Um, when do you usually play and how many people do you need in, um, in the team to play um, cricket? Can you just play with yourself? Can you play uh, alone? One or two people just to play. That's it. That's it? Mm. That's it? Yeah. For okay. the team, for the cricket team. Cricket team, eleven. There should be eleven people on each side. Mm -hmm. But we are talking about gully cricket. Uh, gully yeah, cricket. So you can talk about different types of cricket. Right? We can have the gully uh, cricket, and you can have the professional one. We have to tell you everything about the cricket, how they are played in the international format in the. Let's explain so everybody can listen and understand how to speak in English. I, uh, okay, my okay. This so, <laughs> all right. Are we gonna have we're gonna have Asif. Asif, can you tell us about your favorite sport? I, I played many sports. I was into cricket also, I was into uh, badminton and uh, squash and uh, football, swimming. And, but my personal life is cricket. I have played uh, a good cricket. I am a leg spinner along with the opening batsman. I usually play hardball, but for since last two years, I am not playing anything now. <laughs> so you can talk about your favorite sport when you were younger, right? And where would you play it? What do you require? Because I know about cricket, but I don't know what I need to play cricket. What do I need? Do I need um, a football? Do I need a racket? Yeah, you need a football if it's the size of a handball. <laughs> For the cricket, uh, to play cricket, you need a. Uh, there are different types of balls we use. Like if we are playing uh, cricket on normal days, we, we used to play it with a tape ball. With a soft ball, tape wrapped on it. And if we are playing cricket uh, on proper scale, then we use a hard ball, which is leather ball, sometimes called leather ball. And its size is 56. Oz or grams, you can say it's uh, 56 grams. Uh, it comes in two colors, red and white, mostly. Mm -hmm. Red is used for test cricket nowadays only. Before it was used for one day also, but it's, it's been like maybe 20 to 50 years, 20 years, 15 to 20 years. Now the cricket has moved. The one day cricket and T20 cricket is moved to white ball. And the red ball is uh, already played with the uh, test cricket. And all you need is a uh, eleven player each side with the twelve man or the extra man, mm -hmm. and uh, you need the ground that can be oval one or the round one. With the there will be a pitch in the middle of the ground, and uh, uh, two players will be playing, and eleven will be fielding along with two umpires. And the uh, one umpire is on the front side of the uh, on the wicket, and the, the other one stands on the square leg. Mm -hmm. There, there are fielding position, multiple fielding position, which is called one will start with the keeping, then first slip, second slip, third slip, fourth slip. Sometimes there is a third man. Then there is a cover point, extra cover, deep cover, long off, long on, and long on, and, uh, mid wicket, deep mid wicket, square leg, deep square leg. It's the fielding positions and. Uh, all you have to do is manage your 11 players. In 50 over formats, you have uh, 11 players to be managed for for initial 15 hours. You have to take uh, as uh, maximum outside players will be two only uh, for initial 10 hours. 
and then mm -hmm. uh, from 10 to 15 there will be only three outside the circle and then for, from rest 30, uh, 15 to 30 uh, 45 i think like this so you can keep uh, uh, minimum four uh, feeders are required to be inside the circle and you have to keep in mind that you cannot keep the six people on each side then okay. you have to manage because one is the border and one is the keeper so you should have to manage it there should not go six or more uh, uh, fielders of any side of the wicket. So two batsmen can play for as long as they have the ability to play the game. And their stamina and uh, their will until they are not bowled out. Hello everyone. Hello Maha. So they are supposed to play as can much as they can as they face. So mostly every baller is allotted in 50 hours, every baller is allotted. 10 hour each, he can go on each hour is consisted of six balls. And that's how. Okay, so you told me how cricket is played. The topic was my favorite sport. Yeah. So you need to tell me why is it your favorite sport as well. Okay, so next I'm going to go to Heather. Thank you so much, Asif. It was a great, um, very informative session on cricket. I have no clue what cricket is all about because that's not something that I like to watch. Um, but uh, <laughs> um, I know I'm probably like a very non-Pakistani thing to say that I don't like cricket, but I just don't. So Heather, uh, please tell me about your favorite sport. I don't play any uh, sports. That's okay. Even if you don't play, um, mm -hmm. maybe you can um, talk about you know what you like to watch. I like to watch cricket. Okay. So mostly I was cricket on uh, mobile. Uh, I don't find. Okay. Who plays cricket? Who plays cricket? And what type of games do you like to watch? Um, talk about the important games that happen around uh, the world. Okay, he's dropped out for some reason. Um, I'll go to Adil. Hi, Adil. How are you? I'm quite fine, ma'am. What about you? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much. Good to see you here again. So Thanks, tell me about your favorite sport. Well, ma'am, as far as myself is concerned. Okay, hang on a minute. I don't know what happened here. Uh, there you go. Just a second. Adil. Yes, Adil. Sorry about that. I dropped you by accident. No, no problem. Yes, go ahead. Well, ma'am, uh, I love to play cricket and i love to watch cricket because uh, you know uh, in in asia most of the people like to play cricket more, mm -hmm. especially when there is a match between pakistan and india mm -hmm. we prefer to watch uh, you know cricket between pakistan and india because it it you know it lets the people to enjoy their self they they enter the they enter the they entertain their self by watching cricket you know when it's, when it's specially held between Pakistan and India, so mm -hmm. I, I love cricket nowadays. So I, I want to see again Pakistan and India cricket matches. Okay. Okay, uh, great. For, you know, for entertainment of for, for entertainment purpose. Mm -hmm. So did you did you play cricket when you were um uh did you play cricket when you were younger? Yeah, when I when I was in school, I loved to play cricket. I get up, I got up early in the morning uh, in those days and play cricket with my cousins. I still remember that days. I could not forget that moment which I spent with my cousins. We we play cricket. We we have to manage you know different prizes. Uh, before before the uh, cricket matches, then we then then cricket matches you know held among us. Then we distribute prizes. But after matriculation, I have to stop cricket because then college life, university life, and now job life don't allow me to play cricket with my friends. <laughs> so you miss playing cricket? Yeah. That's great. Thank you so much. That's All great. Right. Missing. Perfect. Thank you so much. Hi, Owens. How are you? I'm all right, Maha. How are you doing today? I'm pretty good. Uh, good to see you again.
So tell me about your favorite sport. Where do you play it? What is uh, it? How is it played? And uh, how often do you play that sport? That was the same story as uh, told by everyone. I love cricket and in the childhood I played a lot. But I'm not a good cricketer, but I, I was the person who kept his innings like six to seven number and I was a normal spin bowler. So I lived in different parts of Pakistan. That's why I have a different fans from different regions. Uh, so I, I played in much other form, like you can say, up to the 10th grade. After that, uh, I don't have enough time to uh, uh, play that. But it, it was a really, uh, you can say, the most favorite sport in our country. Otherwise, we have a hockey here, but, but I love it, definitely. And it, it was a great fun. And I, I, I would like to be a cricketer, but uh, unfortunately not. But it, it was like something greater to me to be a, a cricketer. So I have enjoyed a lot. Would you still like to be a cricketer? Yes, uh, I would love to be a cricketer, like, but unfortunately not. So I, I would like to be a best wicket keeper, like I would like to follow Mark Boucher, uh and Abraham De Villiers, the both from South Africa. They are, they are my favorite persons, and Kumar Sangakkara is also my favorite one. So I would I would love to be a cricketer, but. <laughs> But what? But you can't? <laughs> but I can't. So, uh, wicket uh, keeper is my favorite position uh, to the feeling. Right. And yes. So okay, great. Thank you so much. Opinion. Perfect. Thank you so much. Hi, Fawad. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. All right. So, what's your favorite sport? It's definitely cricket. What's with cricket in Pakistan and cricket in India? You guys don't play anything else what? like no basketball, no hockey, soccer, football, rugby. Yeah, I like, I like football too. Okay, so let's talk about cricket, your favorite sport. But in you know, as you know that in the subcontinent, the, the, the craze for cricket is too much, and everyone plays and watch cricket. So we also have a craze for cricket, and we occasionally play cricket rather than we watch it very much. I can watch it uh, always rather to play it. Okay, so I don't know what cricket is. Can you please explain what cricket is to me? I have no idea what cricket is. Yeah. It's a game and uh, uh, it requires two teams to play. And uh -huh. each team is consist of uh, 11 players. Some uh, in the team, some are batsmen, some are bowlers. Uh, five or six are batsmen, and there are three or four bowlers. Two are the fast, one is the spinner. Maybe two are the spinner, one is the fast, and uh, one is the wicket keeper. So, and uh, if you talk about our uh, gully cricket, then or our uh, local cricket, then it can be played between two players, three players, five players, ten players. It's your choice then. So what's how would you say gully cricket in English? Because gully is not an English word. Street cricket. Street cricket. Street Thank cricket. You very good. Street cricket. Yes. Street cricket. So it's okay to say gully cricket yeah. to people that um, you know who speak the same language. But what if I don't speak Urdu? I don't understand Urdu. So if you tell me gully yeah. cricket, I would think gully cricket is the name of a cricket, and I'll go and tell my friends, hey, there's something called gully cricket, and they would they be laughing. Yeah, at but me. it's so a it's a but it is a specific kind of cricket, so it's a, a specific name given to it, gully cricket. Is it because it's played on the street, or is it because it's played in a gully? Because a gully yeah, and a mostly street. people in mostly people in Pakistan and the kids they play the cricket in uh, streets, or right. if some elders they go to the grounds. But for the children's and for the little kids, there are no ground facilities, as you know, as we mm -hmm. are a poor nation. So what is a gully in English? Gully is a street, I think. No. A waste or uh... what's a gully in English? Mama, it, it looks like a gully is like a small way, you can say. The small way, like a narrow, uh, narrow way like that. OK. A but there's a word for it. A passage then, is, yeah, OK. Gully is, 
if gali is, if gali is not cricket then what uh, what would we, we call street in urdu what street would be called in urdu sadak but i i want to know what a gali in english is sadak sadak if sadak and then what what road would we call in english urdu sadak and street is also sadak yeah ma'am actually ma'am actually yeah. uh, here then what is the gali and we I will man, tell you. Actually, here in Pakistan, we don't. Man, actually, here in Pakistan, we don't have uh, big playgrounds like your country. So we are we are compelled to play in small streets. Right, but I want to know what is a gali in English. Um, passage. It's, it's actually a a fielding position. The cricket as well. Uh, it's near the batsman. And oh, no, she doesn't know that. about there. But there I is think something that, else. That was a different something. Okay. Yeah, I want to know what is a gully in English. Gully. It's any lane. It's lane. No, it's not. A, it's not a lane. A street. Yeah. No. We in Pakistan call it street. Gali? Yeah, streets. No. Yeah. Small street. No, gali is Some not. Will, you you should you can ask you can ask to anyone. They will they will tell you that it's called gali. It's street. a street. A street. It's a street. So people people drive their cars in a gali or on a street. Street. do people street. drive their cars on uh, sorry in a gali we uh, we call in uh, local yeah. language like gali but it's a street in english no but i want to know what a gali is in english i've just written it up on the screen you are our teacher you can tell us better <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay. god is telling an alley A L L E Y. It's a narrow passage between Ali. buildings. It's a small passage between buildings. That's what a gully is, right? So there is. Uh, I was right what? at seventy percent, isn't it? Sorry. I'm saying that I uh, I was right up to seventy percent. Is it? Yes, because you said a narrow passageway. In. So Thank you explained you. it, but you didn't have the word for it. Not a problem. Thank you so much, and that's why I didn't say anything at that time. Uh, narrow passage. We have. Uh, uh, so a narrow, a narrow passageway between buildings is called a gully, right? Because a gully will have houses on one side and houses on the other side. In English, it's called an alleyway or an alley. Alley. Okay. Alley. E L E Y. A L E Y. Yeah. A L L E Y. Okay. So it's a word that a lot of people obviously don't use because it's easier to say uh, gali. But um, you know, if you have alleyways, because that's what we have in Pakistan, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of alleys, right? Um, so it's good to know that um, word. Shan Gilasun Ali. That's it. Uh, I know the new word. Okay. So we have a new person here. Asad, how are you? Hi, friend, ma'am. How are you? Salam to everyone. Waalaikumsalam. I think you've been here before as well, right? Yes, three days ago, I think. Okay, great, great. So our topic for today is uh, my favorite sport. Can you please tell us um, and our viewers what your favorite sport is? Yes, ma'am. In terms of uh, playing, I I love all the sports. Uh, I never mind any any sport, but in terms of watching, I love cricket very much. Cricket okay. and hockey. Hockey as well. Okay, so tell us more about cricket and hockey. And cricket is uh, consists of eleven players uh, both team have, and uh, and first of all they toss together. The team won the toss. Uh, they elected to bat first, and they bat uh, first. They give the target to other team uh, by scoring boundaries and sixes and scoring uh, single double runs. And the next team will chase the target. If they chase the target of the score, then they will, and if they don't. they will lose the match they will lose the match okay okay yes. all right so i'm going to give you a quick guideline 
on how to speak about your favorite sport okay so let's say um my favorite sport i think my favorite sport is probably tennis okay but because all of you said your favorite sport is uh cricket i honestly don't know anything about cricket um i know there's 11 people in it i don't know about the fast bowlers and the slow bowlers and the yes. wicket keepers and all that stuff so because i don't have so much information and let's say i'm doing a test or i'm having a conversation with somebody and they go like you know talk about cricket so i cannot sit there and go oh i have no idea what cricket is so i have to make up a story right um because i know basic about cricket um i'm gonna quickly try to explain um cricket in terms of or under the context of my favorite sport so i'm gonna say my favorite sport is cricket and um cricket is a sport that is played um with great enthusiasm in um especially in countries like pakistan and india and um we have uh we have matches every year and the whole the, all the two both the two countries get extremely involved in um in the game it's a very simple game it's played between two teams and um in each team there are 11 sportsmen one person takes the bat and um the other ones are on the field one person from the other team um throws the ball and um tries to uh, take, a wicket. take the wicket take the wicket right um it's a very interesting game i think it involves a lot of because it involves a lot of running and also thinking because you need to uh, strategize how you're going to win the game it keeps your body and mind pretty active and it keeps your body and mind very um very healthy at the same time i personally like cricket because that's the time when we as a family get together and watch tv and cheer our team when i was younger i used to play cricket outside my house with my friends um it's called the street cricket in urdu it's called the gully cricket we don't really need 11 people at that time we can play it with two three four depending on you know who is available and that's a sport that all kids across pakistan and india play every afternoon um they can miss school but they would not miss cricket they can miss having lunch but they're not going to miss cricket so cricket is a part of our bloodstream exactly exactly yes okay so i honestly did not give too many details on you know we missed something we we missed some we missed some information about cricket what information okay what's that about bowling hello yes fahad yes, go ahead yes please inform what which information are you talking about we we forgot about the three main uh, forces the umpires the leg umpire the third umpire and the main umpire who uh, yes. uh, runs all these thing and they are deciders yes. and we forgot yes, they are, them they are integral part of a cricket without them cricket no match could be played internationally or even if you are playing on the street you need to have those people as well right yes you need to have an umpire uh, two umpires, if two umpires are on field and uh, one i think in third umpire and one is a match referee which right. are off the okay. field okay i have no clue that's too much information for me and i don't understand cricket i'm sorry no matter no, you you must have seen uh, maha you must have seen in, on the tv there's a third umpire and they are having the replay and then after that it's out or not out yes third umpire and match referee are out of the, the, the field umpires not on the field umpires i've only watched cricket twice in my life maybe maybe twice yeah i don't remember that's, that's strange that is strange very strange i know and i probably watched it when i was i think around uh 10 11 years old i think there are very less pakistanis okay. who don't love cricket i think 70 or 80% pakistanis who love to watch cricket and play cricket cricket is in you know as you said in the 90 95% you you should right. add that yes 90 to 95% of course 99.9% 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 
I think I would agree. It's probably 99.9% people who like to but, watch cricket and who watch cricket also. But um, our national game is hockey in Pakistan. So if national game is hockey, then what is cricket? Cricket is not a national game, but our hockey is a national game. And we, 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 we were champions about two or three times, world champions in hockey. 96, I guess, I or think, 92? I think, I think four times. Past year and year. Yes. I don't know exactly the year, but uh, yes, we are four times champions of hockey, world champions. So if cricket is not our national game, um, what is cricket? Why is it so big in Pakistan and India? It's an unofficial yeah, game. Yeah, we have. I think there are many players which we loved a lot. That's why cricket is more much famous in Pakistan, like Shahid Khan Afridi, yeah. you know, Khan is big, very big players and very, you know, legends. It is have. official. It is not an an official game. All the now games I'm are official. That, no uh, unofficial game, unofficial type of game. So why is it so popular? Why is it more popular than hockey? It is official. It's a it's a official game. I think it's famous just because of our, we have big players like and the nice players like legends players we have. That's why cricket become more famous in Pakistan because of players. No, I think no, I think so. It it started in the nineteen twenties and thirties in uh, subcontinent. So that's why everyone is playing from that. The Pakistan has cricket nineteen forty seven, but everyone is trying. So that's why we are involved, much involved. Uh, through the TV and and all of me there, but I think so. Everyone is watching from uh, childhood and playing and play that why it's popular. No other sport for ball process as much as the cricket. That's why this is my reason. Okay, so it's just basically um, the most popular. Hello. Game, right. Yes, most popular game is Pakistan. Yes, of course. Okay, the most popular game in Pakistan. Very good. Um, great. So there is somebody else. Hi, Sean. How are you? Assalamu alaikum, ma'am. I'm very good. How about you? Pretty good. Thank you very much. Can you tell us about your favorite sport? Ma'am, my favorite sport uh, is uh, WWE Entertainment. <laughs> okay. Tell us about it, please. <laughs> uh, I think. Uh, but don't try uh, this at home. I'm sure you don't know anything about uh, WWE. To that's why it's uh, not will be useful for you. But uh, the guys are online with us. They surely will definitely know about this game. And especially this my uh, brother belong uh, who is wearing a glasses in white shirt. Fawad. Yes. Hello, Fawad. Bhai, how are you? I am good. How are you? I am very good. Where are you from, Fawad Bhai? I am from Pakistan. No, no. I, I, I definitely know you are from Pakistan. I want to know which city are you from. I am from Sohabi. Sohabi. So, ma'am, uh, all, for all, uh, like all Pakistani, I also use, uh, like to watch uh, cricket. But only in uh, the World Cup tournament I like to watch because uh, that has uh, the different sensational moments for all Pakistanis. And I think uh, cricket uh, is not our uh, national game. But in the time of uh, when we were uh, servant of English people uh, before two, 200 years, uh, I think the English people are the founder of this game cricket. And uh, when we were... Uh, prisoner of the English people, our ancestors, uh, they used to watch, play them cricket. And uh, I think uh, the most uh, Indian, uh, that time I think only they were Indian, not Pakistani. Uh, Hindu and Muslim, both uh, people used to watch them playing cricket. So I think uh, this is the main reason uh, that uh, our Indo Park people are most uh, crazy about uh, cricket. Maybe this is the reason. I am not sure about it. Tushan, can I ask you something? Yes, definitely, brother. You can. Uh, I'm saying that how many years uh, they have ruled us, the English people, the British one? I, th I, th I, th I, th I think more than 300 years. 
No brother, the officials like from 1857, war of independence to 1947, and these are just 90 years, okay? They have official rulers for 90 years, whole of the subcontinent, the British crown, which you can say. Yeah, yeah you may be right, uh, because uh, I am not uh, so sure about the history, but uh, this is the thing uh, we used to uh, read in our uh, syllabus books, mostly. Who is Asad? Who is Asad? What yeah. happened? Pin drop silence. He messaged me that uh, cricket is an unofficial uh, game of Pakistan. I want to tell him that it is not an unofficial mm -hmm. game. Uh, I said it in a private a, message that uh, it is an official game yeah. because yeah. Pakistan I, government I, uh, sponsored it. We have yeah, no, no, we have a national team and we are national team and it is under the government of Pakistan. So it is not an unofficial game. Kawad, I want to tell Kawad, Asad, Kawad, I don't know who is him here. Kawad, I, Kawad, I talk about the word Gali. What Gali is what Gali cricket is used in uh, in English uh, language as well. When our commentators and, and other people use Gali cricket in English as well. Gali cricket means an unofficial game, which is not an official game, which is not an internationally played. It just played in by your own self in your yeah. streets and your roads. I talk about word Gali. But Gali is an unofficial was started by me. I have coached the world, okay? Sorry? Are I have coached the world that, that it is an unofficial game in Pakistan. No, no. I talk about Delhi cricket. Delhi cricket means unofficial. Man, when you are playing in your own streets, it's obviously unofficial. It's not an official game when you are playing in your streets, roads, and your cities. Like, not an official game. When there are no umpires, when there is no, you know, cameras, you know, broadcasting services, and unofficial game. I, I think, I talk about I think we are part, going a part of the topic. We are talking about topic. Cricket, our topic is cricket, sports. But, but this is not our topic, official or unofficial. This is not our topic. No, our topic is cricket. And uh, Fawad was reading a private message and Asad was just clarifying. So we're still on the topic. And obviously, um, speaking about the topic doesn't mean that you're only talking about my favorite team or my favorite sport or whatever, anything which comes around with it. So there was a private message that went on. And it's again, they're still talking about cricket, right? So now they're just discussing what is official cricket and what is unofficial cricket. So it is still, uh, Sean, it is still the topic going on. Okay, it's just a different um, idea. So you can have one main topic and you can have different ideas in it, right? Okay, guys, thank you so much. I think these topics were, uh, this is a good topic to talk about. And if there's anybody else who wants to join in, if not, then I am going to end this live session. Because I want to try to keep it, um, you know. Ma'am, I want to ask uh, one question. Is there you anything want? else you guys would like to talk about? I want to ask one question. Uh, hello. Yeah. I have, I have a su suggestion for you. Uh, I am going yeah. up now, but uh, I have a suggestion for you that uh, next time uh, you should try some advanced topics like uh, uh, the problems in Pakistan, like education, like other uh, problems regarded to women or uh, other social problems. You should discuss that. Uh, because they are the more advanced uh, uh, problems and they need more attention. So we should discuss that. Well, now I'm going up, but you should consider that as my suggestion for you. Uh, uh, you so also... I like... Can I just say something? Fawad, sorry. Um, I personally don't like to discuss anything which is negative um, related to Pakistan um, on social media. We should uh, discuss the positive aspects of the topic. Yeah, we Ma, can. I would but like to add something. Go ahead. Can I just complete what uh, I have to say, if you don't mind? Please? Sorry, yeah, can I just sorry, sorry. Have sorry, sorry. You should Not say, okay. So, um, see, topics where your emotions get very high because everybody thinks differently, everybody has different points of views, and um, I personally don't like to, especially on a page like this, where you're learning how to have a conversation, I want to make sure that everybody's blood pressure stays normal. I don't want blood pressures to go up and down, right? So talking about religion, talking about politics in a, um, in a very uh, peaceful manner is not possible 
when people from different parts of the world or they're even different parts of Pakistan come from, right? Because let's say we talk about uh, women in Pakistan. Somebody might say something that might trigger me or I might say something that might upset you. So why get into topics of discussion that are going to cause some sort of a conflict um, and instead just talk about regular stuff? Because all we're trying to do is practice English, have a conversation and make sure that we are continuing to speak the language. So on an official video conversation call, I, 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 I'm not comfortable doing political or um, social issues as such. Definitely. Because it's not a it's not a political show, right? Here yeah, this is a kind of start from the start angle. Yes, and then I don't want to be here just because I'm the teacher. So I don't want to be here uh, forcing my thoughts upon you guys or any of my viewers. You know what I mean? So for what great suggestion, but it will become it will become pretty, I would say, um, uncomfortable for a lot of people. Good. Yeah. But maybe if there is anything else, you know, um, let's say there's five people who say, okay, this is what we want to discuss. I can allow it, but it's just sometimes when you get angry, you say things which you don't mean or which might hurt somebody else in front of you. So yeah, things exactly that you can discuss in a classroom, in an international classroom, is what I prefer to discuss. So for instance, I'm not going to sit here and discuss the Pakistan government because this is not the problem for it, right? Um, there is many people from other parts of the world who watch me as well. So I don't want to talk about Pakistan politics or the religion Islam or our social issues that we have only because it means I am endorsing things. Okay, got it. Got it. Thank you so much Rabat, for being understanding. Thank you. Okay. So, wait, so go ahead. I would like to add something. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Actually, I would like to add something that's uh, you should talk about Canada as well. You should discuss about the country, the living style and everything. So we should be knowing uh, some sort of licenses about Canada on daily basis of the winter and the summers and uh, the jobs and like the environment over there, the lifestyle, everything. So you should have uh, uh, discuss Canada once, at least once a week. So yes, that we what, should uh, what, what, have an I idea about that. We should, uh, we should love it. To know about that the international world uh, that's right. why but then, that's yeah but then that's not a conversation that's me giving a lecture no right? there should be a conversation okay. like we, you should be discussing uh your things as well uh your country thing and we should be asking that so that should be some sort of topic as well uh the ice is uh, i think so uh, necessary for the canada and the uk so they, they, everyone will be asking the questions as well. So it, it should be like a conversation, not a lecture. So okay. So we could be having some information more than that. that that's my suggestion. Thank you. Ma'am, how uh, long you are living in Canada? That, that makes sense. Um, that makes uh, sense always. Um, so maybe we can have that discussion because you've convinced me that this would be something good. As long as I'm being asked questions, people are also, you know, interacting. As long as it's interactive and nobody's getting upset, I'm okay with it. Okay, so yes, who was asking me a question? Ma'am, I want to ask that how long you are living in Canada and when you migrated from Pakistan? Uh, I left Pakistan when I was about, uh, I would say five years old. And I, um, my family then moved to the United Arab Emirates, so we lived in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. And I came to Canada about three years ago. So I've only been here three years. Because I listened in Bukhar's show that you were talking that you were from Aptabad. You were talking yes, about Aptabad. Right. Yes. Beautiful city. Aptabad. That's where I am from. Yes, that's where I am from. But I've never really lived in Aptabad, except for maybe a couple of years. I grew up in Dubai. Um, that's where I went to school, university. That's where I worked all my life. And I've only been in Canada for two years. Ma'am, please tell us that how we can enhance our speaking skills. It's a big problem for me for when we come to speaking English. I just like become a three or four old child. Can't speak English. That's OK. The only way you can improve your spoken English is by practicing a lot. That's the only thing you can do. 
And it's not necessary that you practice, um, you know, speaking with somebody who is a native speaker. You can just speak to anybody around you as well, as long as the only um, language you are using for that communication type is English. Okay. Right. Okay. To pick up vocabulary, um, read uh, books. I prefer reading newspapers to pick, up, to pick up the vocabulary and different types of grammar, um, you know, sentence structures, because um, the newspapers, especially if you read the local news, right, it's written in a very simple English. And yes. um, it's written in a nice flow. So once you read that and you sit in front of the TV, uh, not the TV, the, uh, a mirror or your camera, and you report, you report yourself saying that news, your mind starts absorbing the vocabulary and the sentence structures as well. And that um, Heather was here a while ago and he was asking me how to improve on the accent. And the only suggestion that I would give to improve on the accent is watch um, TV shows, talk shows, um, you can watch movies as well, but again, I would suggest is what I, what you should watch is um, the news, because when you watch the news, it's usually in a very, very clear, neutral accent. Ma'am, I think <laughs> accent is a secondary thing. First, we have to speak how to speak in English, then to make accent is a secondary thing, in my opinion. Yes, of course it is. This is why I said that um, I was giving you a tip about the accent that if you want to improve your accent and you want to have a clear English, because it's not about trying to speak like an American or trying to speak like a British, what you should focus on is trying to speak in a very um, clear accent. So that right. whoever is listening to you understands every single word that you say. Yes, exactly. We understand. To be able to speak in a clear accent, a neutral accent that is, the best thing to do is to uh, watch the news because news right. actors have a very, very neutral accent. They don't have a very strong yes. accent. They try to speak in a manner that people around the world can understand them. So let's see exactly. a couple of lines that they have said, record a couple of sentences they have said, re-listen um, a few times and then try to imitate how they are delivering the lines. Yes. Okay. Right, um, thank you, thank you. You can watch these videos again. You can watch my video again as well. And you would notice that when I'm speaking to you guys, um, I speak slower than you know how I normally would speak. I take my pauses. I take my breaks. You would also notice that the mouth movement, you know, it's pretty um, visible as well. So my lips are not closely tight together, but I make sure that I speak by moving my legs and my mouth um, as much as possible. So that um, helps me throw out the words the way, uh, the, in, in, a best, in a best manner. And then all of you are able to understand every single thing that I'm saying. So all my words are clear and there is a very small short pause between every word that I say. Okay? Right, exactly. Any other questions? Who wants to know anything about Canada? So I think so, ma'am. You expecting me? Ma'am, over Go ahead, over. <laughs> about Canada. Uh, what about lockdown situations? Uh, I mean, what will lockdown? What about lockdown? Um, well, we have the lockdown. Yeah. Is it over or not? No, it's not over. It's not so over for another one month, at least. Okay. So, uh, so I think so. The Canadian government is giving some sort of uh, like twelve hundred cats to the persons who are not working or something like that. They give the relief as well, so yeah, uh, basic salary as well. CERB, CURB, uh, it's the Canadian Emergency Relief uh, Plan that they have going on. Um, Canadian Immigration, sorry, Canadian Emergency Relief um, Benefits. 
it's two thousand dollars a month for people who have lost their jobs because of COVID nineteen or are not able to go to work because of COVID nineteen. So two thousand dollars per person, um, provided that they actually worked last year for five thousand hours or five five hundred hours, not five. That's good. That's good. So, so so there are some conditions in there as well. Okay. Okay. There, so how how are you doing uh, these things? I mean, how you and your family are doing that? How are you Sorry, spending in lockdown? How am I spending? I'm, I'm very busy. How uh, you and your family are spending your lockdown actually? Yeah. Um, I am extremely busy. I have work during the day. I teach, and I start my online classes at nine o'clock in the morning, and I don't finish till about five. So for me, the isolation is exactly, or the self isolation, or the lockdown hasn't really um, done, uh, you know, done much as such, um, because we're used to living, um, not we're used to not going out as much anyways, you know. So in in our family, we don't eat out. We don't like going to the mall. The only thing we would ever do is probably go to the movies. Uh, maybe once a month or twice a month, right? But we were not out on the streets just because. So we always liked staying at home. So for, for us, the lockdown is is nothing different. It hasn't really affected us that way. Like it has affected a lot of people. People who like going out all the time and they just go out to the malls to walk around um, for shopping or whatever. Obviously, that has disturbed them. Um, people who were also working. Um, in places especially to do with retail so super not supermarkets but department stores malls um other places as well they've also definitely been affected because they don't have customers so for me because i work for a school my students are online with me so my work day is normal and then the time that i get in between classes i come and do a live show after after work you know i take a nap i rest and then i start either cooking cleaning and doing the chores at home. Nothing different. And the only okay, one so, movies on okay. Netflix or um, Apple TV, that's it. Okay, and what, what were your experience about the square one wall? I think it's really new to you. So if you want to go to grocery uh, or like some, some sort of shopping, you go to square one wall, I think the biggest one in the world, I guess. Uh, no, I don't think square one is the biggest mall in the world. But like I said, um, we don't really like going to the malls so if we need clothes we need to get anything else shoes or whatever there are other places you can just go in buy stuff and come back but um we're just not in a habit like my family we're not in a habit of walking around in the malls so even when i was back in dubai we did not go and spend a day at the mall it's not something that we do Yes, Adil, go ahead. Well, okay, so thank you. you born in Pakistan, you know, Pakistan people are very well. I know that you are living in Canada. My question to you... I can hear the ice cream truck. Why, why their people are much ahead than Pakistan people? In each street, in every street. Yeah, Sean is going to buy some ice cream. I just muted everybody. Okay, yes, Adil, go ahead. I, um, I was asking you that. You know Pakistan people very well. You are you are born in Pakistan and you have, you have, your family living in Pakistan, but you are you are there in Canada. I have I have just simple question to you. What why are there people in your country ahead as compared to Pakistan in every field? What's the reason? See, this is why I avoid uh, topics like this because they become uh, a very um, you know I have to give my personal opinion which might not sound um, nice to people watching me, right? So this is why I avoid topics like this. But I'll answer your question. I think that the reason why um, I don't like to say Pakistan is behind any other country, honestly speaking. This is something that I personally don't prefer to say. But um, the way the reason why it's different is because I think in Pakistan, we have complicated our lives a lot. We are too worried about what is my mom doing? What is my dad doing? What is my uncle doing? Um, why is this dog in front of my house? Um, why are my neighbors um, receiving guests at, at like two o'clock in the afternoon? 
why is my auntie wearing the same shoes that she was wearing yesterday? Um, oh, okay, I had biryani at their house. I think there was not enough meat and chicken in the biryani. We're so worried about everybody else in the world, you know, around us, whether it is our family, friends, relatives, teachers, um, the grocery store, the taxi driver, the rickshaw driver, that we don't think about ourselves. Um, we think that we are there to judge everybody, to make everybody, um, you know, believe what we believe in and make people um, kind of live their life according to us. So we're too much into why other everyone is not thinking. <laughs> I would like to add something. Why everyone is not thinking like me? I yeah. mean, we, we are just here to uh, like, we would like to, do, uh, everyone will do like us. We want like that. So everyone is thinking like that. Why the world is not on my way? What I would like to say. Exactly. Which because, like you know, the way we are brought up, the way we are brought up is that um, there are two things that we are taught. We are taught to be uh, fearful of our elders. We are taught to be fearful of God. And we are also taught to please our elders and please God. Right? So things will be good for you if you please your parents. You have an older sibling in the house, be nice to them because they'll take you out. So we're so busy trying to please, please, and please, because if we don't please, we're gonna be uh, punished that we never think about ourselves. And I think a nation, you know, I'm not saying uh, to become selfish. And um, I personally think being selfish is a very, very good word because if you're not selfish, that means you don't even know who you are. Even it's when natural, you are, huh? sorry? Sorry, Adil? I mean, it's not, we are selfish, it's natural. Ma'am, I think it's natural, we all people are selfish. It's natural, this is the we natural thing in our world. But selfish in a nicer way, not in a bad way, where you're not harming anybody. So when you get on the plane, um, the announcements that you hear before the flight takes off is that if the oxygen level levels drop, then um, you know the oxygen mask is gonna drop. Put it on your face first before you go in yes. to help someone. So think that way. Help yourself first before you can help somebody. Um, be happy first before you can make others happy. Right? Um, have a good life first, or have um, strong financials before you go and help somebody else. Even in our religion, it says charity begins at home. That means fix the condition of your house first before you go and start helping others, right? That's why um, we are number one in charity, I guess. <laughs> number one yeah. or number two in charity. These are yeah, the stats, yes. Pakistan as a nation is definitely at a very um, high uh, position when it comes to you know giving uh, and helping. But then, Again, I don't want to be judging anybody's intentions over here. Everybody is different. And I guess, um, I don't know who mentioned it once. There was somebody once mentioning it that um, if you want to know how complicated a nation is, go and try out their food. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's Vakar Zaka who mentioned it a long time ago. If you want to know how a nation is, go and check out their local food because the more complicated their dishes are, the more complicated their lives are. It's a hadith like uh, uh, something Prophet also said there are two to three things if you want to uh, travel with someone or eat with someone you can judge him this is the way I think so there's something like yeah, that that's a different one um, so that that is if you want to get to know a person number one you shouldn't be judging anybody but if you want to get to know a person there's three ways to get to know that person number one is that um, you travel with them because when you travel with person with a person, you realize and you kind of know of their temperament. You will see how much um, of patience they have, how they deal with a situation if they're under stress. Maybe the car breaks down or whatever it is, right? Um, are they respecting your space when you're traveling with them? And the second thing is um, have a meal with them. So um, the way a person eats, their eating habits, um, the way they sit down at a table to eat, um, you know, are they making too much noise while they're chewing their food? And the third thing um, is to lend them money or to do some sort of a business with them. So travel, eating, and business. Now, yeah. again, it's good to judge people, but if you really wanted to know somebody, 
of you know if somebody has a good um sound personality character eat with them travel with them and do some sort of business with them whether you lend them money or you borrow money from them yeah right borrow the money is a good option borrow the money is a good option and then just not give it back to them <laughs> <laughs> okay any other questions uh, sean i put sean on mute because i think there was a there was an ice cream truck right on any other question sean how was uh, your ice cream mate i'm sorry what did you say how was the ice cream is it good is it tasty ice cream i think sean is feeling sleepy now i had no idea what are you talking about are you not listening to us you missed the whole episode and this is your turn please ask a question to ma'am ask who Asad hasn't said anything for a while. Asad, there's anything you would like to say? I said Sean is like, looking like Sean is feeling sleepy. He wants to sleep now. I think. No, Sean. Yeah. Sean is uh, he. He likes to watch and observe, and this is how he learns. So he he is in Nihari too. Don't don't Any get so much. Don't get like so much judgmental, brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is the mm -hmm. only problem of our uh, we pakistani we decide so much early about other persons we don't take to, uh, so much time thinking and observing things that's that is the reason we are behind we are behind of all relations right yes sean and finally you got the good ice cream as well getting angry See, I have no idea, idea which ice cream are you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that is that scene of ice cream, yeah. There was there was an ice cream truck that we heard, and um, I I asked everybody. I said, you know, I hear an ice cream truck, and nobody said anything. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe it is possible, but uh, I had no idea. Uh, I did not pay any attention to any sound because I was listening to you guys, and uh, when you were telling about the Canada. and your living style and your uh, relatives and uh, uh, that is the urdu word uh, which you are discussing some days back kira right so the yeah, kira problem i was listening focusing on your topic <laughs> right okay any other questions you guys would like to ask me shan where are you from i am from karachi that is good that's good How okay, the situation so right now in Pakistan? Oh, Shan, have you ever tried Masjid Nihari? Yes, many times, brother. Shan, I'm thinking about Masjid Nihari. Amazing! Yes, I would love to have a Nihari in the Sahri. No, no yeah. I think uh, it's a very heavy diet for uh, uh, our Karachi people because uh, Nihari is uh, too heavy for our digestive system. Uh, only we eat in only night. Uh, uh, in the breakfast, uh, I don't. Uh, I don't think it's a very good idea. And what about Shana the biryani? Man. Isn't it fat? Isn't it like fat man? Yeah, you guys. Uh, you guys can speak one by one at least. Shan, are you doing precautionary measures uh, to keep away coronavirus or not? No, brother. I am very. Uh, Careless person about myself. I have never that, been in isolation. I have never been in isolation. I have never been used the mask, and I only believe in Allah because uh, whenever my time will come, I will definitely go. But uh, no, that's time, really uh, really bad thing to do. Man, very. No, it's a it's your opinion uh, because everybody has, has his own perception. It doesn't. Uh, it's not necessary that you think you are right or I am wrong. And I don't think Allah so. You are wrong because. I don't see why you are wrong because uh, it's your thinking. You can be good for Allah yourself. Allah give you this. You have to use this. Yes, yeah, you can. You can think, brother, but I don't think so because uh, one day all we have to do is die. Don't be afraid of so much. 
the only difference between the animals and human is the brain you have to use a brain because allah make you human you have to use a brain in every aspect of because, life because uh, because we are muslim as well muslim as well but 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 after doing precautionary maya you have to pray but before precautionary maya you can't pray your prayer won't work without because, without learning you can't go to the examination hall brother this is, the, this, is, this is the this is the this is the way of my life and uh, according to me i think i am right and according to you you are right uh, i am not here to prove you, you wrong you are absolutely right and yes, you are you not are. here to prove me wrong so it is uh, okay i don't think so it's a uh, bad for me because uh, uh, it's been 3 uh, year 3 uh, months it's been 3 months uh, that uh, we are we have been listening that corona is uh, uh, killing people but uh, i have never been afraid of corona because uh, uh, my maybe my immune system is not so much weak This is the way. Well, I mean, let's save us all, Insha Allah. Insha Allah. Okay. Actually, where are you from? You from which uh, area of Karachi? I uh, live in the Federal Bay area. Federal Bay area. area. Okay. Is it near Karangi? I guess. I'm sorry. Is it near Karangi? Yes, no, 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 no. It is a uh, near Sorab yeah. Gold. It is near Sorab Gold, uh, and uh, in the, in the, this is oh my uh, God, Sorab Gold is such a dangerous area. No, so it's a time decades time ago. This is the thing you are thinking. It's a decades time ago. Now it's a very safe after thanks to the army. Now Karachi is a very peaceful city. It's used Sorry, to be a dangerous. Mind. It used to be a dangerous city, but uh, now this is not uh, as you are thinking right now. Shanvi, don't mind. I want you to ask that. Uh, what do you do? What is your work? Are you studying or doing any job? Sir, my profession. I am a graphic designer. Uh, designer, but uh, nowadays due to this lockdown, I am home. Are you a freelancer? Yeah. Freelancing is a household job. Yeah, you can do it. The shading are. Oh, uh, the other clients are also home as well. So they are not. They are saving their money for the bad time. Okay, okay, okay. So and what about what about course. you? What about you, brother? Where are you from, and what do you do? I am tuning in from Faisalabad, Pakistan, and I am a That's government right. servant. Government servant. So this is the thing I think you you are not worried about the problem. Maybe that you have a yes. uh, uh, proper uh, job. That is why I think I think. No, my and, office uh, has opened. and uh, the now, but other okay, guy okay. Uh, the name uh, sir i think I, i have talked to you some days ago i uh, don't remember maybe you are uh, in some call center i think yeah so you are you talking about me yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i am talking yeah. about you how is yes, uh, i work in a call center and uh, yeah oh. the call center name is mcb bank I I was thinking for so uh, I was thinking for so no. long that where I have you seen now I remember you I think if, uh, a week oh ago I, Sean, I, I, Sean, I a Sean, week ago I talked to you Yeah because, you talked uh, to me because, I remember you but uh, because many of people uh, come here daily online so it is difficult to remember everyone face Yeah definitely no 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 Sean you are wrong actually you haven't watched the Gujarati movie of Amir Khan and you you are going to be some a guy who who whose uh rem- memory is like a gajni guy you you should remember everyone okay no no it doesn't uh, necessary that uh, i am uh, must remember everyone because i am not here to remember everyone because i am focus on the english only Sean, please on the lights, yar. We are not able to watching your beautiful face. Sir, uh, my beautiful face. You don't need to say. Uh, look at my beautiful face. I think you guys are trying to trolling me. So that is no, why yeah. the, the, the Pakistan nation are behind. And I think uh, this is the main thing that the Pakistani people are not uh, yeah. very developed in every field. Yeah, it's very because dark. they are... because uh, they always try to make fun of every situation. Yeah. Why are you? Not... Why are you angry? Yeah, I am just talking, but no, you are very dark. I am not dark. angry at all. I am not angry at all, my brother. It's very dark. We can't see. How your can face. you? How can you judge me that I am angry? You are by your talking, by your way of talking. No, no, I am. I am just talking only. I am not angry at all, my brother. Stand. You are talking like hundred miles an hour. Okay. 
I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm saying that you're talking like 100 miles an hour. Oh. Until miles an hour. This is the new word for me. So please, can you elaborate? He could kill us with his speed. I uh, still didn't understand what are you your to temper, Sean. I'm talking about your temper level. Very short my temper. Tem yes, please. My temper is very cool, my brother. <laughs> is it it's in the deep. refrigerator or deep freezer? Okay, guys, yeah. cut it out. Cut it out. I think it's very hot in Karachi nowadays. That's why he's very angry. I now. am going to mute everybody. Thank you so much. Cut it out. This is exactly the reason why I choose the topics the way I want to choose them. Because then I do understand the discussions everybody gets into. Um, forgetting the fact that you know we all here to practice our English. We are here to have a conversation and we're um we should be keeping it um respectful, right? So um, again, people coming from different backgrounds, different cultures, um, different way of living. For some people, think um, what they say might be okay, but for another person, those things might not be okay. Um, so this is why I personally don't like to choose topics that my students are giving me because then they don't understand where the topics are going to be leading, right? Um, the reason why I was keeping quiet because I wanted to see how far this is going to go. Had I not um, put you uh, on um, on mute, it would have turned into a panel, which it almost did about five, seven minutes ago. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up this session for now because I've got, um, I mean, unless you guys want to talk about something else, you, uh, you want to keep it cool. Um, so discussing regular general topics is always a good idea, but then I just feel that if you're picking on one person, it's not right, and it doesn't show um, respect to either the platform or anybody else. Yes, go ahead, Amit. Uh, thanks, Sheriff, for today's session, but I would like to add something. Uh, you should have a pre-topics, like before going live, two, three hours, you should uh, post the topic that today we are going to talk about that. So you guys should search it, and we guys should have everything in our mind before we should join. So the topic will be uh, decided before the live. So thank you. Um, okay, great idea, but usually in our language classes, we don't do it that way because if I ask you to pre-plan and pre-think about it, that means you've done your research and it's Google talking and not you, right? So if you're planning on, because it's not a discussion panel, this is not a discussion panel, this is let's have a conversation. So having a conversation means having a chit chat, having a quick talk, having, uh, you know, exchange a couple of words here and there, a couple of sentences. And it's a very controlled environment. So if I say, okay, tomorrow we're going to talk about NASA, or tomorrow we're going to talk about, um, I don't know, organic food, right? So you'll go and do your research and everything, and you're going to come back, and then it's going to turn into a debate. This so man, please come again. It's going to turn into a debate. Okay. Okay. Because it's a very it's a very basic level that we're doing here. This is not an advanced class. Um, this is a class that I do, you know, online for free for anybody who's watching and joining. So I rather keep it very open, and the topics are given to you as and when you join, and then we have a discussion. Because if you're able to speak at a topic without pre-planning, that means you know you're doing a pretty good job. Great. Right. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, but great suggestion. Thank you so much, Alex. Uh, great thanks. suggestion. But yes, um, uh, pre-decided topics only happen when you know it's it's a classroom environment and a project has been given to the students. Okay, next week we're going to talk about this topic, and then they go and present. Right. So because it's a conversation class thanks. and got it, got it. class, so that's why. And then it's just again. Um, you know, uh, topics that have personal views and opinions, it's just, they're just not right. In any situation, in any classroom. Okay. So anybody else wants to say any, uh, some, um, add anything to it? Others, you disappeared for a while. No, I just would like to thank you for having me in this uh, broadcasting because uh, I want to learn English and speak English frequently. And sorry to Sean if you feel anything. I just want no, to no, say no, it's sorry. okay, brother. Nothing at no hard feelings. Just be thank relaxed you. and cool. Oh, thank you, thank you. 
Yeah, yeah. Sean is pretty. Sean is pretty cool. Uh, sorry for my side too. Sean, actually, we were just uh, we were just wanna we should we were actually uh, searching a topic, and that's why you and Ash came. So we were not meant to troll you. It's okay. It's okay, brother. No problem. Sorry, Sean, boy. Sorry, I also do apologize. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, thanks Mahal. Have, have a good day. Where did you go? But I just want uh, to say, please on the lights before come to broadcast. Yeah, it's not maza nahi aara. It's not we are not feeling good. Yeah, please on the lights yeah. and my the bulb is not working. Uh, oh. I told him <laughs> some days ago because uh, yes. yes, two days back uh, I borrow a bulb from my brother and uh, turn on the light. You can see my face. Uh, two days you can go two days back and uh, you don't have you don't have a flash in your own mobile. You can uh, look at the. A stream two days back. You can see my face over there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I will go. I will go to see. So, Adil, why were where were you disappeared for so many days? Uh, sorry, I could not attend class. Uh, from last couple of days, I was busy in my you know in my study. That's why I could not attend last some last some of the last sessions. So did you join the uh, mem group on Facebook? And let's uh, have a conversation, mem. Uh, uh, you, did you add me? No, uh, you, uh, uh, add Salaan, me? Uh, Salaan is the moderator only. He can add you. Uh, I think you have talked to him uh, for adding you in that group. A group name? Let's Would you like to tell me the group name? Uh, let's have conversation. Uh, this is the name of the group, and uh, Salan is the guy uh, is the moderator of that group. Okay, 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 fine. Okay. Uh, just tell me the name of the group name, so so I could find their group and then join. It is a uh, it is a name. Uh, let's have the conversation, uh, right, madam? Yeah, let's have a conversation. The English of Canada. Okay, ma'am. Let me see if I can find this oh. over here and I'll paste it in the comments below. Um, add us too, Yara. I want to add in this group. Please add me too. I will send you. Sean, do you have the link to that? Yes, ma'am. I will uh, definitely post uh, in the comment section. Uh, if you post in the comment section, then I'll have a lot of people coming there. So I prefer not to post okay, it in the comment section. Just uh, yeah. hold, hold, hold send it as a private message. So I will send it as a private chat over here. Um, so guys, if you look at the private chat, it's there. And I think this private chat is only between us, right? So I, 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 have, I have posted the link, you can see. In the private chat? Yeah, uh, right beside the stream yard. OK, OK. All right. Did you see? Yeah, yeah. I got it. Who's uh, Junaid Ahmed? I think Junaid is uh, one of our previous ones, right? So I'm actually on that group right now. We don't have too many members on it, but then if you become a part of it, then I can, you know, if you send in a request, then I will um, approve that request, and then you can just come in and quickly have a quick conversation um, with with each other. <coughs> okay. Anything you guys would like to ask? I'm I'm going to join that group, which is provided by you on in charge. Yeah. So it's in the it. And once I get a notification that somebody wants to join in, then I will have them. Uh, Ma'am, I want to ask about your uh, father that uh, he has not been for so many days here. And uh, I was uh, really missing him because uh, uh, he's the guy who uh, gave me a confidence to came in front of the camera and then stream. Oh, he came. Asalaamu Alaikum, Uncle. Assalamu alaikum, uncle. So, yes, so I am here. I am here. I am here. I am here. I am 
you have a very long age uncle i was just talking about you and right now you appear on this screen you're still young yeah yeah his uh, video is frozen so we'll probably come back i guess probably some internet issues at his end um that's why that's what's uh, happening and we'll do this very second time yeah it's frozen his video is frozen right now so i think what, uh, somebody is assisting him to connect to this live stream but I guess the internet is down, it's low, the connectivity, that's why it's not, and it's just a little bit changed. Okay, so always left, and um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah it, you know, it's not easy uh, managing a classroom because, uh, like I yeah. said before, everybody gets into their own little discussion, and then as a teacher, you know, you kind of like start thinking, okay, what do I do now? So I'm sorry if I hurt anybody's feelings or if I was too harsh with my words, but then I have to make sure that this thing remains peaceful and people are happy on this stage, right? Because we're only here to have a conversation. Right? So how is the weather in, uh, okay, Karachi and Asad, where are you? Ma'am, I'm in Faisalabad, Faisalabad, Faisalabad. Faisalabad, okay. Weather is pretty you good. Worked, um, during the week, are you the same person who works in Lahore and then comes back for the weekend? Hello, hello. Yes, ma'am. What about you? Saying? You work in Lahore, right? I said you work yes, in I'm Lahore. Yes, I'm working in Lahore. Is that correct? Yes. 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 Okay, exactly. I you. So, how's the weather in Faisalabad? It's pretty good. It's uh, rain tomorrow, and uh, today is very cloudy weather and. Uh, it's windy and cloudy weather both today. Okay, it's going to rain tomorrow. No, it's uh, yesterday. I was talking about yesterday. Okay, so it rained yesterday. It rained yesterday, yes. Okay. Well, here in Canada, well, in in Toronto, we're going to get snow this weekend. It's going to be snowing this weekend, and the temperatures are going to be um, going down to negative four degrees. So we're going to have. Uh, we're gonna have snow and it's like you know the first week of may and it's still snowing here Hi, can you hear us Asif? Your, um... Hello, hello. Hi, Asif. How are you? Hi, ma'am. I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. Good, good. Okay. <clears throat> so I was just saying in Canada, um, in in um, in Toronto area, it's going to be snowing on the weekend. That's wow, the fantastic. weather forecast. Yeah, it's almost you know, um, it's the sixth of May, so it's um first week of may and we still are not <clears throat> going towards a warmer temperature great and we are still praying that allah bless us and we also see rainfall in pakistan too but it's uh, too long i think it's weather conditions not suitable for snowfall i think that's why we can't see so well in pakistan not as much you're right you're right yeah. okay all right, guys, I'm going to take your leave now because um, it's been like an hour and a half. Thank you so much for joining today. And um, I'll come back tomorrow, probably around the same time, and have more chit chat and then come back cool. with more time to discuss. Oh, good night, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much, Asif, for staying um, all this time. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Yeah. Okay. Allah Hafiz.